Hello and welcome to a new video about networks. We're talking about Internet Protocol version 6. And Internet Protocol version 6 uh, has a, a technology which will allow an interface, a host, configure itself. And I just want to explain how this is working so that, that you know. Well, uh, let's say our host is coming to life yeah? and uh, it's somehow, somehow selecting an uh, interface identifier. So the host itself is selecting its own interface identifier. The later part, we said there's a prefix part and there's an interface identifier part and the, the host itself is allowed to select the interface. If you have an Ethernet interface, it is probably derived from the MAC address. Yeah? So the first thing which is happening, yeah? first, host is generating the interface ID. The interface ID part of the of the network address, of the IP address. What is done with this? Yeah, it's only half of it. Well, then we have the link local addresses. Yeah? With that, yeah, generate a link local address with the link local prefix. So now we have a valid address, link local address, so we cannot communicate beyond routers, we only in our network portion, but yeah, that's it. And then second, second thing, is the so-called neighbor discovery protocol. In IP, in IP version 4, this was called ARP, Address Resolution Protocol. This is pretty much the counterpart. Neighbor discovery protocol. What is done here? Yeah? We have an address. Yeah? And now we are requesting all available routers to respond. And then we talked about a multicast. Yeah? So we are requesting All routers in the segment by using multicast address this means Please routers, please respond. And this router response, they are called a uh, router advertisement. Okay. This is also <sighs> this is also now neighbor discovery protocol. This belongs together, so I will simply write it. Yeah? Routers responding. with the so-called router advertisement. So the router, we are requesting, hey routers, huh? <laughs> where are you? Yeah, The router is responding with the so-called router advertisement. Those router advertisement are not only sent uh, in case we are requested, they are requested, they are also sent periodically. 
There is a reason for that. Because what is inside this root advertisement? Inside, there is a lifetime. A maximum transfer unit. And prefixes. So, the router is responding with possible available prefixes. Yeah? Available prefixes. Can be a list of prefixes. Huh? And host is selecting one prefix. So we offer a choice of prefixes, even if the choice is just one. <laughs> but we offer, we could offer a choice of prefixes and the host is selecting one of these prefixes. There's no knowledge at any central point which a host, that the host is deciding on its own. Right? So it's stateless, it's called stateless. Huh? The host is selecting its one one prefix, and then it's using the same interface ID and this prefix, and ta-da, we have our final uh, internet protocol version 6 address. The lifetime, uh, here, prefixes, might have different lifetimes. There are uh, valid lifetimes and there's a preferred lifetime. The valid lifetime means, okay, you can use this prefix as long as this weighted lifetime tells you. Mm -hmm. No problem. What is the preferred lifetime? The preferred lifetime is you can say, okay, uh, this is the preferred lifetime of this uh, prefix and this is the preferred lifetime of this prefix. And whenever the preferred lifetime is longer, you should use this prefix which you expect to have longer. All right? But if the valid lifetime is over, it's over. Uh, preferred lifetime, you, and the valid lifetime is not over, you can still use it, but if an other one has a better lifetime, better preferred lifetime, then change to this other one. This is, if you know, if you have, um, if you are bound by, by two internet service providers, for instance, and one is supporting uh, I don't know, a better solution right now, uh, then you prefer this one. And you use a different different prefix, yeah, preferred, and the other one might be better over time, or maybe in the evening this one is better, or uh, something like, or you just want to change internet service providers, yeah, then you can have a transition phase in between, and this will automatically be renumbered, all the stuff. Yeah, just it's built in the protocol. And to update those lifetimes, uh, to say, hey, yes, now use this prefix uh, up, then this is the reason why these router advertisements are also sent periodically. All right. So this is automatic address configuration in Internet Protocol version 6 stateless, no, nothing is recorded, everything is up to the host and so on. Uh, it's pretty cool. Hmm? It's pretty cool. We don't need a DHCP service or uh, stuff like that. Lease times and, 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 and things. It's built in. Statelessly built in. So this was automatic address configuration. Uh, next time we have a look at the Internet Protocol version 6 header, how this is looking like. I said it's looking easier than the Internet Protocol version 4, uh, but 
Let's have a look in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.